Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up and monitor your child's device uh, on the Android device in uh, Android 12 2022. So what I have here is a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. This is the child's device. And this is the Galaxy S22 Ultra. This is the parent's device. So if you're the parents and you are using a newer model, what you want to do is go to the Play Store. So on the phone, we're going to swipe up to go into the app screen. And we're going to open up Play Store. And we want to install an app called Family Link. Now this app is Google. Uh, it's a Google app. So we're going to install Family Link. So tap on Google Family Link. And then we tap on Install. So what this app does is allow you to monitor your kid's device, uh, such as the kid's uh, usage time, uh, what app they can use, and you can also track their location as well using GPS tracking. All right, so we're going to wait for this to uh, install on the parent's device. Now on your child's device, also go into uh, the Play Store, and you also want to install um, Family Link, so sign in with your parents account first to install the app. Okay, so once we're in here, you can choose, um, I will be using this device or my child's device. So you can select my child will be using this device and tap on next. And in here, you can um, create an account for your child or you can use another account. All right, so if your child doesn't have an account, you can tap on create account for child. Uh, use an account and uh, from here you can just uh, follow on now what you can also do is first don't sign to this account yet what you do is on your uh, parents device you tap on open all right and then we're going to sign in to this account so tap on get started and then sign into the parents account with i'm um, signed to the parents device with the parents account Right, we're just going to wait for that to sign in. Okay, once you have signed in to your um, Google account, you can see here uh, with this account, I have already created an account called Bob. All right, so if you haven't created an account before, you need to tap on the add button. In here, it will allow you to create a brand new account. Or if you already have a Google account for your child, you can choose yes or no. Okay, so because I have already created an account, I can choose yes but if you select no basically um, you can put in their first name and last name their birth date and uh, you can choose a password okay so after that you can then uh, proceed to uh, create account for your child all right so i'm just going to get out of this because i already have an account i don't need to create another one all right so you can tap on add and then choose yes. And then uh, once you're in here, you can sign into your ch child's account. So set up, you need to set up parental controls on your child's device to use family link. All right, so, and here are the steps. You need to go into settings, Google parental controls, and then you tap on par parental controls. And basically once you press on parental controls, it will ask you to download family link. All right, so I'm just gonna go back in here because I already have an account called Bob. And uh, once you have created an account, so in here you can see if I tap on uh, account in here, Bob, I can view Bob's account. So I can tap on manage. And this is uh, Bob's account. And this is the account info uh, of Bob's account. All right, so on the child's device, we're going to go and go into settings, tap on settings. Then we go down and tap on device care. So not device care. So in advanced features. Okay, so parental controls is in the different menu settings in here. Now, because I am running on an older version of Android, so in this um, device, it actually is in Google settings. So I tap on Google and then tap on parental controls. And here it will ask me to set up parental controls with 
Google's family link. So I tap on get started. And I will say um, the child or teenager will be using this device. And then I tap on the next button. Okay, on this screen here, I will need to add in my child's account that I have created over here. So I tap on add account. And then you need to sign in with the account that you have created, um, the email address and the password. So put in the account details and password to sign in and say choose who's setting up this device for Bob. And then we need to put in the parent's account password. Okay, so once you have verified your account details and password, tap on I agreed. And then tap on next. Okay, so it's an activate family link manager. So I'm going to tap on next. And then tap on activate. So it says that in here you can set password rules, monitor screen unlocked attempts, lock the screen, set screen lock password expi expiry, set storage encryption, disable cameras, disable some screen lock features. So I'm going to tap on the activate buttons. And then it asks you to review apps. These apps come with this phone. You can choose which apps um, your child can use. So in here, I some of the apps. Um, this device doesn't have a lot of apps in it. So you can go down the list here and choose which app they can use or can't use. So you can turn on uh, enable or disable apps that your child can use. So go down the list here and examine and find out which apps they can use and tap on the next button. And then next, it say manage parental controls. Uh, tap on install family link. So I'm just going to tap on that. Then tap on next. Okay, so it says select your child's Google account. All right, so it looks like uh, parental controls has now been uh, set up. You can set up the screen time control, the daily limit, uh, when is the bedtime, supervisions, uh, and Location sharing is, is turned on so you can track it where they go. So if they go outside, you can track where they go. And uh, so if I tap on the back key here, to back to Google account. Now as a, a child's device, they have limited uh, ability to make any changes to your uh, family link app. So if I tap in family uh, link, Right, so the family link is not installed in here, it is installed on the parent's device. But if I go into Google and open up, so there is a notification here, uh, update from your parents. Right, so if I go in here, and this is the child's account, and if I tap on that, it, I can view some information and services on this device, uh, backup. And find my device, parental controls. If I tap on parent con controls, it shows the screen time that I can use today. Uh, so the child can go in here and see how much time they can use for today. Uh, app activities, they can view app activity information, uh, which app they can use and which app is being blocked. So if they want to use Chrome here, they can, you can see uh, it shows uh, it is being blocked and they can't use it. So if I go into the app screen and look for Chrome, uh, it's not available. They couldn't find a Chrome app in here because it is uh, being blocked in here already. And you can see um, all the activities. And the child can see all of the activities in here. And if I you say get more controls with Google Family Link, so if I go in here and try to download the app. So over here, this is the Google Family Link on the parent's device. So if I go in here and open up Family Link, I can view Bob's device. Okay, so to view more uh, information about your child's device, you need to actually install Family Link on your child's device. So what I did is I just open up Play Store and type in Family Link and then install Google Family Link on the child's device. Uh, if you have, if uh, you, if you already got it, you can update the software to the latest version. 
Okay, now that it has installed, I can tap on the open button. Okay, once it is open, we're just going to add in your child's device account to family link. Okay, so on your child's device, you actually don't need to install the family link because if you go into the app uh, screen, there is already an app called Parental Controls. So that is all you really need. And on the parent's device, you do need, however, you do, do, you do need the family link uh, app. And once you have that, you can tap on the view button. And in here you can view uh, Bob's details. You can tap on the manage settings and you can manage the settings on your child's device. Uh, such as content restrictions on the app. So for example, Google Chrome in here, I can tap on Google Chrome. I can try to block explicit sites from uh, your child's accessing those sites. Uh, you can choose allow approved site. And for YouTube, perhaps you can uh, change some settings in here as well. So in here we've got YouTube Kids, YouTube and YouTube Music. You can tap on that. And it said here, some video and music may be unsuitable for kids. So tap on select. And here you can choose explore, explore more, or most of YouTube's. So explore more will be, so I'm just gonna tap on the back here here. So explore more will generate aligns with content ratings for viewers uh, 13 plus. So you can see in here, you can choose uh, the different types of apps uh, your kids can use and uh, in here you've got account info, controls for signing in, controls for third party apps and locations. And down here you can view your child's active app activity uh, today or yesterday, by the day. Uh, Bob hasn't used any apps today, so you can see what apps they have used for today. Uh, location, you can also try to look for their location and you can also lock the device as well. You can also um, uh, give them bonus time if they're being good you can give them some extra time and you can view the daily limits you can also change uh, or edit the limits uh, of how many hours they can use a day you can set their phone bedtime um, you can view all the apps that they installed on the device on the device uh, you can play the sound and yeah so you can see with this app you can actually with this app, you can actually control a lot of uh, different aspects of the device on how your child is using the device to keep them safe. And that's it. So basically, once it is uh, set up, it can be a little bit cumbersome, uh, difficult to set up initially. But once it is uh, set up, you can actually use the Family Link app on the parent's device to control your child's device. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.